Improvements have been made to electrode setup sheet drawings in PowerShell 2015 R2. The setup sheet drawings are now updated rather than recreated when a modification is done on one of our electrodes. This means if we have any additional items that the user has manually added in, these will not be wiped every time a change is made to an electrode. For example, if I generate a setup sheet now for my middle electrode here, I can right click, modify and choose the setup sheets I want to create. I'm going to create a detailed setup sheet and a combined setup sheet. Say OK. Here you can see I've got my combined setup sheet and all my information. And I've also got my detailed setup sheet for the electrode name SPM1. I know that this electrode requires extra flushing, so I can add a note in there. Once I've done this, I may want to make a change to my electrode. For example, I want to actually machine a graphite electrode rather than a copper electrode. So I'm going to modify it by entering the right click menu. And I can change my material from copper to graphite, seeing as it's a user defined blank. Now when I say OK, my setup sheets are updated rather than regenerated. So here's my combined setup sheet, which I didn't make any additions to. But if I toggle over to my detailed setup sheet, you can see that I've still got the note that I added on. Another improvement to setup sheets for PowerShape 2015 R2 is that we can add additional items to our view. So if I go back to my model, for example, I want to show another electrode in my combined setup sheet view. I can select my electrode and modify and we have this option here in the setup sheets section to view items. So here we can choose the setup sheet to make changes to and I'm going to add items to the combined setup sheet. We've got two different views. I'm going to add items to view one and I'm simply going to add this electrode here. So with it selected I can hit add and you can see it's been added to that view and I'll say OK. Now I'm just going to hit OK and my combined setup sheet will be updated. Here you can now see that I've got my second electrode shown in the combined setup sheet for my first electrode. What is also new for electrode setup sheets in PowerShape 2015 R2 is that we can now replace a part. So if I go back to my model, you'll see that on level 6 here, I have a similar part, but it has had some changes made to it. So now I want my electrodes to machine into my new part rather than my old part. So if I just turn my old part off, select an electrode, right click and say replace part. If I only have one electrode selected it's going to give me this query saying not all of my electrodes have been selected and do I wish to continue. So I'm going to say no I don't, I want to shift select all of my electrodes, right click, replace part and we can choose our new part and here we have the option to check for collisions so it's going to see if our electrode is going to scar our new part. Here I have my electrode collision dialog and it's telling me that there are no collisions so my new solid part is okay. And I can demonstrate this if I select one of my electrodes and I just want to create a new setup sheet. So I'll create a combined setup sheet which shows the part. So I'm going to tick show part, say OK.
and you can see that we've now got our new part with our electrode in the combined setup sheet.